Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Surgen and welcome back. Today we are talking about a very special topic, about something that is very important, like everything on this channel. As we all know, awakening means looking on the inside instead of the outside. And what is inside really? Well, it's you and it's recognizing that all the problems are coming from inside, not the outside. So it's never one's fault. It's never that something happened out there that made you feel the way it made you feel. <laughs> it's about you. It's about you reacting to everything around you. It's about you reacting to life. Do you think life is f with you just because you deserve it? No, it's not. Life is being neutral for everybody. There are multiple events with no negative or positive effect. It's about us who give negative or positive meaning. And so by starting to look on the inside, you start seeing all these negative reactions you have to all these neutral events. And once you do, you can change them and become free. The song you just listened to is something I'm working on right now. It's uh, far from being finished. Whenever I'm producing a song, I'm listening to it over and over again to see what I can do better and stuff. When I wake up, I like to dance. I force myself to do it because I know I want to do it, but I'm locked into my old beliefs about me who is not comfortable dancing and I need to break that because I want to dance. I want to stop giving a shit about what people think and just dance everywhere. <laughs> It has always been about you and the relationship you have with yourself is the relationship you have with the world. Why? Because you are producing everything around you. If you love yourself, you will see a lot of love out there. If you hate yourself, you will see a lot of hatred. It's that simple. You just gotta make a decision to start taking control into your own hands. I have already talked about how to love yourself and stuff. You can watch the older videos I made. But once you get the basics, how do you strengthen the relationship with yourself? Yesterday, I've been laying in my bed in my beautiful bed with giraffes and some local village on it. I love it. It's, it's very African. I got it like seven years ago, even more. <laughs> I was trying to connect with the universe and by connect with the universe, I mean to feel the connection because we are always already connected. It's only our minds that has separated us from everything. And so during this session, I have managed for the first time to actually feel myself, to feel my body and to feel all these past traumas inside me. I knew what they felt like, not at the same time, but for example, I have seen the trauma with girls. I have felt where this trauma was. And by doing so, I just focused on that part of my body where I felt it and just let it go. I felt it, I stopped suppressing it and I let it go. And I let go of many negative emotions, probably not entirely yet, but like it just, I should say, I feel so good. I feel so free because I've let go of so many negative energy. And you can do the same thing. I think the secret to life is so freaking simple. I was trying to find it. I was trying to get the idea of what that would be in words. And I basically came to a conclusion that the secret to finding purpose and the secret to loving your life is letting go of all your past trauma. The main thing that's keeping you from enjoying your life, no matter what will happen to you, no matter how good the things will be which will happen to you, if you got this trauma inside you, which is preventing you from loving yourself and from loving the world, you just won't enjoy it. And that's what happened to me one year ago when I was in Costa Rica, I would meet so many cool people. I would see so many beautiful animals. I would be in this beautiful nature surfing, hiking, it was crazy, but I didn't love myself. And because of it, I couldn't connect with all the experiences because I didn't feel worthy of them. I was like, oh yeah, I mean, that's so cool what's happening, but I don't, I don't really feel this way. It is so important to focus on yourself. Stop focusing on the other world. Stop focusing on other people. Start being yourself. Release everything that is not you. Everything that you have learned along the way, along the journey called life. Just let it go. Like, it's so simple. Once you get the idea, once you know how to... Like, you just do it. You just keep doing it. It's no rocket science. Meditation is very important, start meditating. That makes your brain to calm down and so your thoughts won't be as rapid anymore, which will mean that you won't react at your thoughts as much anymore. And when it settles down, you'll be able to get a bigger picture of yourself and start to explore 
the deepest parts of you. It may be scary, but the thing is that the scariest parts of yourself are the ones that need to be cured as fast as possible. And also when you do, the biggest changes will be seen. Strengthening your relationship with yourself is very simple. It's basically learning to shift your focus from your thoughts, from the outer world to you, to your heart and start feeling it. You may start trying this very hard and you might imagine like something in your heart, in your center, and that's okay. Just keep doing it. But the point is that it's not about imagining it. It's about feeling it because this in here, this feels. This in here, this thinks. Feels, thinks. So feel and you will heal. <laughs> it's all about practice, but the most important thing here is that you know it is possible. Because it is possible. I did it. I feel so much better. My life has changed so freaking much in, in a month. It's crazy. So thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post beautiful photos there. Have fun! Bye bye!